you know, talking about people who just start in this field, what would you say would best help someone who just starts in hypnosis, in doing hypnosis, in practicing this art, so to speak? See, see, that's not that that that's not a simple that that is not a simple question because you've got to say first of all you've got to say well what do you want out of it and then you've got to say what sort of hypnosis are you going to do because yeah there's there's hypnosis but it, it's the same way in in the way that there's communication and talking you know and 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 we're talking we're talking now but it's specifically an interview situation. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it's it, it's a, a a not normal situation. So when people when people say to me, oh, I'm just starting hy hypnosis and I want to do I want to do therapy stage street um, s swimming pool hypnosis, you, you know, business um, NLP, and and you go, whoa, 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 pick one. So the first thing I'd say is pick one and get bloody good at it. And then look at all the others, you know. Uh -huh. um, there, there's too much of this. There's too much of this now for me. I'm watching the business, and and I'm, uh, I'm seeing too much of this. Oh well, I can do a bit of therapy, so now I should go on stage. Yeah. You know. Um, so so what we end up with is a, a lot of stage hypnotists are actually fairly decent therapists and yeah. terrible stage hypnotists yeah. and the other way around. You know, we've got a lot of people who'd be really good at stage hypnosis and they're, and, and they're making terrible therapists. So, <laughs> and we've got a lot of people who are good at both, but, but not a huge amount. That's a very yeah. small elite group, as you know. Um, it really is, you know. I mean, I'll get it on the chin for that, but... Um, but but you know, get get decide what you're gonna do with it and get damn good at that thing. You know? Yeah. Absolutely. That would be my advice to somebody who sees hypnosis and thinks, Oh maybe maybe I could make a living at that. If it's just an interest, fair enough. You know? Of course. So um, talking about hypnosis, how do you pick your induction? I usually do I, m my version of eye closure because it's it's you know ninety nine point nine percent of the time it works for me. Come again? Ninety nine point nine percent of the time it works for me. Look, the, the, which one? My version of eye closure. Okay, would you we can put a to, link Would you to, care to, to share to a video? It's it's very different from the Elman style, but but. You know, I always teach my students pick, pick, pick. You, you, you should be good at four inductions, and you should be really, really good at two interventions. Yeah, um, you don't need any more. You don't need any more. All this. Oh, I'm going to pick the induction to fit the person. Now, what you do, you try your best induction, and if they don't go under, you do your second best induction. If they don't go under, you do your third best induction, and one of those should get them. <laughs> 